did you know about those uh, those days and this day in particular? Because it's this kind of uh, very l important moment in history, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the United States. You know, like uh, so September 11th. You mm -hmm. know, what, what did you know? How, how did you approach uh, this the story and this character? Well, what what really drew me to Peter's script was. Um, it's about people that I didn't know anything about, and and to be honest, I hadn't really thought about. Um, I think, growing up and, and seeing this Zapruder film, uh, uh, you know, when you watch that, you, you very much wa you're watching Kennedy, um, and what this script sort of shined a light on for me was that there were many people in, in the entire world that 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 affected, and this film is about what what did they do? How did they respond? How did they react to a situation that? That, that was, wasn't supposed to happen at all. There was no plan, there was no contingency plan um, how to deal with it. So um, that's what drew me to the script, was exploring a world um, that I really hadn't thought existed. Can you tell something about your character? One of those characters that is put on focus and usually is out of focus mm. in history, in a way. Yeah, um, Agent Roy Kellerman, I mean, uh, the head secret, head, excuse me, Agent Roy, uh, Kellerman, the uh, head Secret Service agent in charge of the White House detail that day, um, uh, in a very, you know, he was, he worked for four different presidents. Um, he was very good at what he did. Um, and after this tragic event, you know, I think he, you know, felt, he may have felt more responsible than anyone else. I mean, that was, that was his guy. That was, I mean, that's what he was supposed to protect him. Um, it was very sad. You made a lot of TV as an actor, mm. you know. And for many years, TV was looked like uh, you know the the poor uh, the poor relative in mm. a way you know it's but nowadays uh, it's kind of really ex exploding something mm. you know many series is going to be as successful as yeah. movies uh, and it's a really a great moment. Yeah. So what do you think about you know being in you know in between between movies and theater? I mean, I, f I feel fortunate to have a, you know to have worked in both mediums. Um, I think that. What's happening in tel well, it's already happened in television, um, I think is fantastic for, for everyone in the business. It's good for writers, producers, directors, actors, um, because it's, um, it elevates the material. I think that there's a lot of technology that has allowed us to do that. Um, we can do more now with cameras um, and, and lighting and, and visual effects and everything else that we just simply couldn't have done in the past. So I think it's a great opportunity for, for everyone in the business. Main differences between working, you know, uh, TV series. Of course, it's kind of uh, maybe nine to five job sometimes. <laughs> uh, actually, it's like a six a.m. to two a.m. job. <laughs> uh, uh, I there's a I think that uh, I, I I actually don't compare the two, but I will t say that one of the big differences is the pace, um, and not to say that one's better or worse. And in, in television, um, when you what you shoot, you you shoot more material faster. Uh, we're in film, you're able to, you know, sort of take the time to explore each moment, um, and I, I, I enjoy both.